now the time is 7.21 and that means it's time for Thought for the Day and this morning it's brought to us by Archbishop Leo Cushley of St Andrews and Edinburgh. Good morning to you. Good morning. Lisa, this morning Pope Benedict will be laid to rest in the Vatican. For me, Joseph Ratzinger was a Bavarian gentleman. I had the honour of working with him closely towards the end of his time as Pope and I got to see this for myself. To be a leader of any kind in today's world is to have an impossible task. To be a leader at the level of exposure of our royal family or the Pope is even more impossible at the human level. Her late Majesty the Queen lived in the spotlight for almost her entire life and she did so with a sense of duty that she herself said was based upon her Christian faith. She said it was about doing the small things well and that is something that I also saw in working with Pope Benedict. He was a good priest, a meticulous scholar, and a solid writer. He was also quietly kind and available to people, and as a cardinal was not above accepting an invitation to visit our Scots College in Rome. But he was also shy, whereas Pope John Paul was an actor, a climber, very sociable. Pope Benedict was quiet, serious, more professorly. Joseph Ratzinger was elected Pope in 2005 in an early ballot showing the rest of us who weren't in the room that he was a popular choice among those who knew him. To this day, he remains widely respected as a scholar. He did travel, including a state visit to the UK, which unusually but successfully started here in Scotland. If people were looking for something new or different in Benedict, what they usually got instead was a better understanding of the church's tradition at his hand. But there was one occasion when he showed he could change things. On the day he resigned, the world watched in awe as a Pope stepped down from office for the first time in 600 years. His scholarship and his writing may be remembered in time to come, but the humility and the humanity of the first man in our times freely to resign the office of Pope may be the thing he is remembered for and remembered with respect. May this kind Bavarian gentleman rest in peace.